I'm going to be looking at the WeFan Tina 2 Mini 3D printer. That's, uh, specifications on the side. And I shall unpack this now and we'll have a look when we get inside. Instruction booklet. Filament, I presume this is PLA, power lead, and in here we've got a uh, micro SD card, card reader, some tools and a spare nozzle, and in case, this has got corrugated cardboard on the top, oh, it lifts out in one, I think, so let's take it out in one. box there's a look at it there Lightweight, and as I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a good read through, go through the SD card. I believe it's got its own program based on Cure, and I shall put that on the PC. And I'll have a look at the uh, I think it's got wireless on this, so I shall have a look at that. And then I'll come back when I've got it all set up and running and uh, go through it all. I've got this all set up, and I Printed off one of the tests on the card, which was just a square, that came off the base fine. No problem. Uh, I haven't used the paper it's got on the uh, base. Um, I'm using glue stick on there, which I find works very well. But I've uh, I've uh, reduced the size of a, a articulated elephant, one of my prints, to try. It should be a good test for it. And I'm going to set that up ready to print. Uh, you've got the display on the top. So I just press that. Go to print from SD card. There's the elephant card. There, and just press, press that to set that going. And that should start off, and we'll see how that goes. This is now finished, and it seems to have turned out quite well. Get a bit of string coming off the top. Take that out. I just got to take it off the base. I'm trying to do this one handy, so put in the camera. Oh, and that's come straight up the support as well, which is good. Will move. Head moves. That's it. I shall come back.
I've been using this for a while now and uh, it, it's quite impressive. Uh, it's clean, I've not had any problems, I've not lost any prints. The print quality seems very good, that's one of their test prints. And uh, another print of an elephant, which I reduce the size of. It's a test print there. This is the first one I printed, that came out fine. And this is a snake, that's just finished. Uh, again, I reduce the size of it. And as I say, I use glue stick on the base rather than the uh, what they recommend the paper. That comes off, and that that will just wipe off the glue. And that's on the raft. Let's see how it comes off the raft. Need a bit of encouragement, I expect. Everything's come off fairly cleanly. And as I say, the, the print quality certainly look good. There's very little stringing or anything in there. That's come off. And that's pretty good. It's turned out fine. The controls on this are fairly simple. It's uh, I'll just show them. It's a push button uh, on the main menu there. Press the button that takes you to the menu. You've got the info screen, takes you back to the main menu. And you've got the prepare. All got, it's all detailed in the manual. And uh, go back to the main menu. You've got control main menu and print from SD card select your print and just select it and then print and that's it and off it goes but, uh, I shall put the videos of the prints uh, on it I did print uh, uh, just a extended arm for the uh, so I could put uh, one kilogram filament on it but apart from that, yeah, I mean, I think it's fairly good. Oh, it's limited by its size. Uh, it'll only print small. But, uh, yeah, it's great for little hobby and little toys and things like that. Uh, it, it, uh, it's it got Wi-Fi in the manual, but it hasn't got Wi-Fi on there. I presume they've some sort of issue with it, and it's not advertised in the advert as Wi-Fi. Um, and you can't select it. But um, I... I I've never used Wi-Fi for a 3D printer, so it's no real issue for me. And it'll link up to the computer anyway. And that's it. What I'll do is, uh, anything I've forgotten, I shall put in my full written review at the end.